This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I think we know Marjorie Taylor Greene is an abject disaster. Marjorie Taylor Greene is the embodiment of all that is wrong within the Republican Party. It's anti-intellectual bent. It's, it's focus on conspiracy theories. It's electing stupid people to high office. It's promotion of hatred and bigotry and white nationalism. It's, it's a historical under or it's understanding of our history from an a historical perspective. Like it, she's the worst of the worst. She's everything that's bad about the Republican Party. There's really no redeeming quality, not necessarily as her, her as a human being, but as a politician, because I don't know her as a human being. I only see what I see. And as a politician, there's nothing redeeming there. And she was she was caught down, not caught, bad word, but she was she was cornered. She walked into the camera and they asked her questions yesterday at the Capitol. And they're asking her about the voter fraud and Donald Trump and it's all bullshit, she says. And it, she just rambles and rambles and rambles. But there's one moment where, I don't know if it's a Freudian slip or what, but she says with her mouth, and I want to get it right, there's nothing wrong for asking for election fraud. Now, you've heard the term Freudian slip. I don't know if this is what this is or that she's just she always just speaks in 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 pre-rehearsed snippet language. So it's easy to get off track. I don't know what it is, but this moment is remarkable because one, it's just rapid fire spewing of conspiracy and lies. And then it culminates with that particular statement. Watch this insane moment from yesterday on Capitol Hill. Given the fact that this is not the first time you've been the target of these investigations, do you find this one to be more serious? Yes, I find it to be more serious because the charges they're looking at bringing against him, they arrested people on January 6th. They held them pre-trial. They never let them out on bail. And is the question that I want to ask Jack Smith, is this the plan? Are they going to arrest President Trump? Trump charge him with phony fake charges and then hold him in prison while he is winning the Republican primary, while he's going to win the general election in 2024? Is this, is this where our country is now? Because it's an embarrassment on the world stage. If this is the direction America is going in, we are worse than Russia. We are worse than China. We are worse than some of the most corrupt third world countries. And this needs to end. It's an absolute lie. And every single time President Trump has proven innocent time and time and time again. And he'll be proven innocent again. He hasn't had a trial, though, right, related to the last indictment. He shouldn't have a trial related to the last indictment. This is ridiculous. The document hoax is nothing but a hoax. And now they're going to try to charge him with some kind of seditious conspiracy on, on January 6th. It's ridiculous. Saying march peacefully, go in peace to the Capitol. How is that seditious conspiracy? It's not. And there's nothing wrong with asking questions about elections. That is exactly what we should do. We should make sure that our elections are safe. We should make sure that we have election integrity. There's nothing wrong with saying, look into this. Was there election fraud? Are you talking specifically about his conversations with officials in Georgia? I'm talking specifically on every single level. He can ask, was there election fraud? I should be able to ask if there's election but fraud. But can he ask them to find a specific amount of votes? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying there's nothing wrong with asking for election fraud. I'm saying there's nothing wrong with asking for election fraud. Yikes. Yikes. So what do you think? What happened there? Is it the talk track just malfunctioned? Or is that really in the back of her mind that it's... Because listen, she knows, I mean, she must know that when Donald Trump spoke on the phone to Secretary of State, Republican Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, that when Donald Trump said, look, all I need is 11,780 votes, which is one more than we need. That's asking for voter fraud, election fraud, not voter fraud, election fraud. He's asking to find votes. 
come up with votes so I can declare myself the winner. He did the same thing in Arizona. We're finding more and more and more about that right now. This, this is where we are with the Republican Party. I mean, this, this, this is where we are with the Republican Party. Donald Trump is facing another indictment, conspiracy, deprivation of civil rights. Like the, there's big time stuff in this, uh, this indictment that's coming related to the January 6th insurrection. We, we have a president who is at this point gonna be on the ballot, a, a former president, an ex-president who's gonna be on the ballot who attempted to overthrow the United States government in any other country in the world, that would be a problem. That would be a, mm, nah, we're gonna find somebody else. Even the party of which they're a member would, 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 would reject them. But not in America, not Republicans. Power for power's sake. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think about this moment. Did you see this? There were some, there were some different clips out there, and this is the larger moment. Uh, what do you think about this? We can mix it up in the comments. That will help the algorithm introduce the channel that I presume you would enjoy. It'll help uh, promote the channel to other new possible viewers, and that would be great. You can also, as always, call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can absolutely email me daily at dollamore.com. Thanks for your time and your attention and your passion. Uh, if you want to support my work, become a channel member. Uh, you can click the super thanks button. And even better, if this is your thing, if you, if you, if you trust Patreon, which I do, you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Doesn't just support the podcast. It absolutely supports the work here too. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, threads, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. I'd love to see you there. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks for getting me to 500,000. It's absolutely your doing and I appreciate you for it. Uh, be genuine. Take care of one another.